Today is August the 31st of 2024, and uh, since I've got all my equipment working so well recently, I wanted to show you. I happen to have one of these little uh, SA1000 stereo tube preamps. I saw, I've seen a, several videos on the internet about them, and uh, yes, the, uh, the signal actually is going through the tubes. This is the way it came. This is original. Of course, I've already, I've already got the panel off so we can get at it. But um, <clears throat> there's a lot to be said on the internet about uh, swapping those tubes out that are in it. They're pretty little tubes. Uh, they've got LEDs lighting them up at the bottom as you can see. It makes them uh, look nice and blue and everything. So uh, uh, it actually, the darn thing actually works. I bought it primarily to use as a. Um, tone control circuit from a microphone into an AM transmitter. I've also used it very successfully with a little simple diode detector uh, type of a circuit to monitor my AM signal over headphones and it works very nicely for that. I, I, I like the little thing. But I wanted to show you what it does and um, we'll document it for what it really does. I've got all the equipment set up. I'm going to try to keep this simple. I've, I've, I've obviously got to set up the harmonic profile, but I don't think we're going to be studying that today. I think what we're just going to be looking at is over here. We're going to be looking at the screen, uh, the screen, the uh, the display on the uh, Soul Soap screen, um, and the THD and stuff like that. Let's get it set up. Okay, so I'm thinking these oscilloscope. This is voltage output, and this is THD. There's frequency, and this is frequency. Uh, sometimes when the signal's down real low, this one doesn't uh, dis doesn't display. I know I have to talk a little bit louder when I get away from the microphone. Uh, and voltage. Voltage. Voltage and voltage, same thing. Okay? Well, I've got... Let's look back at it again. I want you to see what I'm doing here. I've got the uh, the bass and the treble are set at mid-level, straight up. And the volume right now is all the way up, full volume. Okay? And here's what we have with the original tubes. Let's just study this for a while. Okay, no, we can't quite see everything, can we? No. We have to get it like this so we can see everything. I know it's a little small, but I think the camera does a pretty good job. Okay. Volume is all the way up. Its output is two and a half volts. This is what it looks like on the screen. It's running at two kilohertz. And this is our THD, 1.1%. That's not too bad. That's what it is. At two kilohertz. We're gonna. There's 20 kilohertz, 2.4 volts. You can see the 20 kilohertz over there, right? Just a hair below 1% THD. Two hundred hertz. Voltage. THD display, that's 200 hertz. Now we'll go to 20 hertz. It was pretty good, really. THD is up to 2.5%. Voltage is 2.5 volts. And 20 hertz. Okay, now that's about as far as I want to take it. Otherwise, it just gets longer and longer and longer, and I'm not sure we proved much past that point. Okay, now we're going to, I'm not even going to stop the camera. I'm going to put it back on 2 kilohertz. Because that's where we're going to start on the next one. I'm going to point the camera back down here at the little device, and I'm going to let you watch me change the tubes in it. Uh, turn it off. Oh yeah, I gotta show you these tubes. These are pretty little tubes. Hope I can, hope the camera will focus on them. These are GE Jan 5670s. 
I sure hope the camera will focus. Sometimes it, yeah, I think I can see that it's focusing. I dare say these are even a match pair. They have the same code dates on them. Uh, 6825, 6948. Same here, 6825, 6948. I mean, <laughs> we've even got a match pair of these little guys. Okay, so let's pull them out. Let's see if I should be able to see what I'm doing here. Yeah, pull these guys out. These are nice looking tubes. These are the Russian tubes. They have, one of them has a code date on it. I don't know if it means the same thing as the American code dates. It says 9112. Does that mean it was made the 12th week of 1991? Which I think is what it means. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Anyway, that's what's in it. That's what came in. But we're going to put these little jewels in it. light. It'll take it just a, a minute or two to come up. And I can see it warming up. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I wish I'd wish I cut you over there warming up. I mean, it's obviously a tube warming up is what I'm saying. So there was, I saw something on the internet that somebody said, it's not really going through those tubes. Well, it really is. Because uh, I'll show you. So I'm going to turn it back off. Well, see, the power just went off. Let the tubes cool down just a little bit, and you'll see as they warm up, you'll, you'll see the signal come up, which I think this is a reasonable proof that it's going to do it. I'll turn it back on. Okay, it's back on. Watch the oscilloscope. See it warming up? Okay, let's turn this back off. Get that off. Okay, I haven't changed anything else. Nothing. I'm going to change the volume of the bass or treble or anything, and we'll look at it again. I'll have to look at my own video here to see what it was, because I'm not making notes. But now, at 2 kilohertz, uh, look at our THD, it's 0 0.75. See our THD right up there? It went down considerably. It actually did. 2.6 uh, volts. Nice display. Let it warm up good. Harmonic profile looks good. I'll, I'll make, we'll, we'll take a quick glance at that in just a minute. But uh, there we go. Let's go. Let's see. While we go, we went up to 20 kilohertz. THD is less than a half percent up there. Not bad. Two kilohertz is where we were. Let's go to 200 hertz. The voltage changes quite a bit in a way, so you couldn't use it for a laboratory device. But uh, these days, one and a quarter percent at full volume and 20 hertz. So we've tested it from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. HD is 2.2%. Uh, now here's the interesting thing about it. Let's go back to 2 kilohertz. I like the 2. That allows me to not have to be t twisting that knob up there. So I can go from 20 hertz to 200 hertz to 2 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz easily. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the volume, so to speak to one volt. Notice right now that the THD is 0.67. I'm going to just lower the volume without changing anything else. To one volt and the THD goes up. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> 
So we were testing it at full volume, now we're testing it um, about half volume. That's actually where the knob is sitting at. I can tell by the slots in there, yeah, it's at half volume now at uh, 2 kilohertz. Twenty kilohertz. Yeah, you can see that it's twenty kilohertz right up there. This one down here doesn't have enough voltage to trigger it. So that's at half volume, one volt for the volume, but don't set it half. Two hundred hertz. There's two hundred hertz. 1.53 and 20 hertz. Yeah, the volume actually went up to 1.3 volts. Yeah, 1.9 percent THD at 20 hertz. I don't think this is a bad thing. Like I say, this is not laboratory grade equipment. But the uh, but the, the the little tubes, uh, the little uh, Jan. Uh, Five six seven zero fifty six seventies did make a difference, and everybody on the internet seems to think that they do, and I think I'll prove that they do. And well, let's look back down at it again, and there it is, right there. Zoom in on it. I don't think I need to show you anything else. Let's see what is the. There's the, the meter, the VU meter. Turned up all the way. Of course, that depends on the signal that we're putting in. We're not putting a, a real high level signal. We want to keep it low. But it's coming from a Tektronix ST505, which typically has its THD well below 0 .00 something. So we're not putting any distortion into it. So there you go. The, uh, the little uh, jam tubes do seem to uh, make it perform a little bit better than the, uh, than the larger tubes. I don't know anything about these tubes. They do not have the pinout of like a 12AX7 or 12AU7 or something like that, so you can't put them in there. So for what it's worth, there you go. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. I really shouldn't skip this since it's set up. I didn't didn't mean to neglect this, so we'll go back to this. This is its harmonic profile at full volume with a THD of 0 0.69. Since we've, <laughs> since we've got this thing set up and I've been using it so much lately, we shouldn't neglect it here. It's got a lot of second harmonic, a little bit of third, tiny bit of fourth. We can stretch it out here. And a little bit better. Fundamental. Second. Third. A tiny bit of fourth. Oh, I think I've got this. Yeah, there it is. See, since we're only looking at two kilohertz, it's kind of squished up there. Maybe that second harmonic again. I think seems like everybody loves a second harmonic. Well, there you go. Didn't mean to neglect that. That's it. Uh, two kilohertz. Should we look at it at another frequency? Nah. All right. We'll let it go at that.